Hey guys, Wayne here from H2 Tech Videos. Today we're doing a video on the Coolpad Legacy, specifically a size comparison. And we normally do these in individual videos, but um, we decided to just put them all together in one large video. So we're gonna compare it to a ton of the popular phones in this same category. And some of the phones that are slightly out of the category, but I know that you guys are probably considering in your choice to buy a new phone. So let's jump right in. We're gonna start with the comparing it to the LG Stylo 4. And so here it is. And you can see that the screen does stop. So we're just doing screen to screen. And you'll see that um, it's interesting because the, the cool pad is a hair longer because of the bezel, but screen all the way up to the top. Sorry, I'm rocking the camera, forgive me. Um, so the screen just slightly stops below. And... So the screen is just a hair smaller, which is an interesting thing just to note because um, Obviously, I mean, the screen is just about the same size. I don't have the exact specs on the Stylo 4, but you can see that the screen is super close. And the cool pad does have a much thicker bezel at the top and the bottom. So that's what makes the phone look a lot larger. But really, you can see that the screen is, is very close. And this wallpaper, I'm gonna change the wallpaper on that because it's it gets dark at the top. So it's kind of hard to really get that that full comparison. Let's try this one. This should be better. Now, so now we can see actually where the screen stops. So it's so close. So I feel like the Stylo 4, you know, it, the phone is smaller because the bezels are smaller. So really, although it looks like it's a smaller phone, the screen is probably a hair or two smaller than the Coolpad Legacy. So anyway, that's our first one right there. Next, we're gonna compare it to the Samsung J7 Star. And this is just a night and day difference here because the J7 Star is a 5.5 inch display. Coolpad is 6.34, so if you just kind of start it at the bottom of the screen here, you can see, I mean, it's no comparison. You're getting so much more screen at the top there. So, and I think, you know, obviously it's important to be able to see these things because for some people, like a, a big screen really matters. They need the biggest screen possible. But for others, they might say, well, I need a phone that's gonna fit better in my hand. So like the Coolpad, while it's a really good phone, some might say it's a little too big to hold in the hand. So anyway, that's it compared to the J7 Star. Next, we're gonna compare it to the new Moto G7 Power. And this is a big competitor of this phone because they both came out around the same time. And at screen size, again, looking very similar to the Stylo 4 in that the bezels are smaller at the top and on the side. You can see that the bottoms are here shorter and that's where the screen starts. And the screen is just a hair taller and a hair wider as well. Put it that way, the Coolpad Legacy is a little bit thicker on the sides there. So there is that. All right. Next, we're going to compare it to the iPhone XR. This is a phone that a lot of people are considering. So it would only make sense. So here is that screen size. We just start it right at the screen. You can see that that screen. So iPhones are always so interesting because of the bezel kind of screws things up because you're not really get the screen doesn't really stop at the top because it only has some of the information. So really you could say the screen stops here. So you're getting a, a considerable 
um, additional amount of screen on the cool pad versus the iPhone XR. And same thing, a little bit thicker on the sides there. And finally, we are going to put it right next to the Samsung Galaxy S10. This is gonna be the S10e. It's actually the smaller variant. It's obviously extremely considerable in terms of that screen. And we just start at the bottom where the screen starts. So a lot more screen real estate up there. So again, similar situation to the J7 Star, you really have to decide what's more important. Is it about just big screen first or is it about a big screen phone but that fits comfortably in your hand? Let's see that. Because the, the 10E, man, I mean, the bezels are so thin. So it's still a really big screen even though the outer edge of the phone is not super large. So there's that. So anyway guys, we just wanted to do a quick side-by-side uh, -side size comparison between the Coolpad Legacy and some of the latest phones that are out right now. In case you are considering any of these phones and you're curious about how they match up size-wise, there it is. So do us a favor, leave us a comment down below. Let us know uh, what you thought. Were there any that were surprising? And are you considering buying the Coolpad Legacy? Hit that like button as well. Make sure you subscribe. Uh, follow us on Instagram at HG Tech Videos. And on the next screen, you'll see a green bubble that will is promoting our new site, Tech Made Easy. Show us some love and click on that and subscribe as well over there for some other really awesome how-to content. Thanks again for watching. Take care and have a good one.